supported other guys as they had their turns. His turn today won't have to wait long. Tulane won the toss and deferred. We will see Evan Prater in start number one right out of the gates. Bearcats have won the one plays. Josh Wiley, the senior in motion. Time for Prater. Now sensing the pressure, races ahead. And brought down just short of the 35. It'll be fourth and one. Angelo Anderson now poking out here in the Queen City. This Black Friday. Bearcats dressing their red uniforms today. Tajay Spears probing the left side. And a patient run across the 45, a gain of eight. Two guys that kind of taught him the way. Second down and two. Inside give. And Spears will pick up the first down. Stop the plus territory after five-yard gain by and at the right moment. And he'll set up the screen far side. Lawrence Keys stopped at the 45 by Hicks again. A four-yard gain, and quickly it's third down. Well, I like what Keys about going for it on fourth down. Willie Fritz loves to roll the dice. Third and six here. Pratt heaves one deep and incomplete. Was looking for Deuce Watts, covered by Hicks, and the pass was... As Prater surveys his first career start. Prater delivers high, looking for Trey Tucker. Tucker was open. He tried to. Coleraine, Coleraine High School with all of that talent. Pratt starts two for five on the jet sweep, and Lawrence Keys into Cincinnati territory. Ajay Spears in the backfield. After picking up the first down, Spears navigates ahead to the 35. You know, Andre, you just mentioned Dante. Obviously, with the last name, you can understand why. After a seven-yard gain, Spears racing ahead another first down. Stopped inside the 25. So he picked up seven and then ten more, Andre. Matchup he likes because Cincinnati going straight cover one. It's man-to-man -man across the board with a safety in the middle of the field. Well, this crowd is loud early on third and seven. Crosser is there stop short of the line to gain and a fort and a 34 yard field goal attempt just inside the right hash on the way and it is good Tulane strikes first the winner of this game advances on the football for Cincinnati now Ben Bryant injured that right foot that happened last week in the win against Temple he's out for the rest of the season there's a pitch Montgomery's got the first down. And stopped near the 39 after a gain of eight. The it's for Tulane. Andre, I think it's fair to say that Cincinnati's offense has been a work in progress this year after oh, yeah. losing all that talent to the NFL, really on both sides. Prater did a great job to keep that play going. Thompson slung out of bounds at the 48 after a gain of five. Heard here, but I, I got to imagine this might be four down territory. And off straight ahead. Montgomery was turned around. Only needed a yard. He'll pick up two. There is Hodges. Big shot by Hodges. Initially. Addy. Ranked in the top 25 once again. Play action for Prater on first down. And a big windup results in a pitch and a catch. Monroe. Fake it to McClellan. Prater with time as a man. Pass is incomplete and bumped out of there at the last potential moment by Larry Brooks working against Tyler Scott. Well, to come open. Bullcats out of field goal range on third and long. We'd like to get something here. Prater buys some time as a man and how about a first down? Nice. Avoids the blitz. They bring Eight of the afternoon for the Bearcats. Here's Montgomery to the edge. And shoved out near the 10. The red zone. I like that approach. Prater, designed quarterback run. And Prater sandwiched between two defenders. And bottled up short of the 10 and nowhere close. Just the state, I think, is playing some of its best football under Mike Norvell late this season. We've seen them earlier this year as Co. since. So if you're really friends, you're thinking, all right, we can't do that again. Got to possess the football a little bit longer. Pratt with time on second down. And winds up a pass complete to Shea Wyatt. Stop at the 46 of five. Green wave 0 for 4. And third down so far. 
Keyes will take it around the right side, and Keyes will have a first down. Well, patient into that run results in a five showdown in the AAC. Will Wallace will shift ahead and serve as a lead blocker. The lateral went back to Spears. Borderline trickeration here on Black Friday. The pinches Pratt under center. And he'll get a push and retrieve the first down yardage. Got it. Yep, he got it. Spears was able to shove him right across the line. Give it to Spears. And with the burst, has first down yardage. Chains will move. Spears stopped inside the 25. Well, they are just for Cincinnati to stop the run. But he's top of the screen. Does have big playability. Spears will get it. Trying to get to the edge. Cuts it back inside. Shoved down inside the 15. Close to it. Spears lines up. It's a Wildcat quarterback. Straight ahead. Tajay. First down and in some. And you've got Pratt on the outside trying to throw blocks. Four third down conversions on this drive. Spears stays in as the Wildcat. Spears gets outside. A stutter step and a touchdown. Well, he throws Javon Hicks and also our packs in the American Conference this year headed to the Senior Bowl. Injured in spring practice with a bad hamstring. 47 yards for Prater, 39 for Pratt. We were hoping to get it back after that monstrous 8 minute, 25 second drive. Prater! In plus territory, stopped at the 49. By this cuts on a dime. Just got to clean up this passing game. Montgomery to the edge, and Montgomery inside the 45. Five yards on the ground. Those coming his last two drives. Time for Prater. Slings it. Jaden Thompson at the chains, and that's enough for a first down. Football here in a here before long. Four man front for the Green Wave. They'll switch it to three right before the snap. Prater. Back against the grain has big yards. Well, five yard gain to the 35 on a play that looked 15 and a half points. A game. They get down inside the red zone. They get very, very stingy. Charles McClellan has a first down and a lot more. Look at the cut. McClellan to the end zone. They are glad to see that from McClellan, who had injuries. 2.41 to go in the first half. Ryan Coe's PAT as is tied at 10. And as well, send you guys to the, to some place here to shop in Cincinnati today. Yeah, Clark wants to buy you another one of those Snuggies that you wore a couple of weeks back. <laughs> Tajay Spears has wow. a first down. Stop near the 42. Half, plenty of time with two, three timeouts remaining. On first down, Pratt off the pump fake has keys. That's another first down inside the 30. Keys will try to keep this play alive, and let's see if they ruled him down. He did. He, One official yeah. signals a touchdown. He rolled over on top of Arquan Bush, and I'm not sure he ever touched down. Bush gets back to try to make. Handoff Spears, and a conservative call results in a short game, and a timeout called as Ivan. You're in the Matt Rule era. Brogio back on the field. Kick is on the way, and it is good. A new career long for number 43 in what? Where even if you get there, you're not going to bring him down. Mitchell his rusty start this season. Pratt pulls it out and has big yardage. Stepping out, to go back to virtually any play at any moment in time through the course of his three-year career. But his toughness unquestioned, Spears. Another quality pickup, ushered out near the 38, a gain of eight more. A lot of things when you have the four guys that are sitting side by side every week. Pratt motions out, Spears takes the direct snap. That's a first down, collides with Pratt. Five yards down the field, it's an eight-yard gain. Or more on the ground in a single game. The quarterback draw looks attractive, doesn't it? Pratt pocket collapses and down he goes. 
Inside the 45. That'll be a loss of five. Showing pressure here. Time, plenty of time for Prater. Through the progression and intercepted. Green Wave come away with it. Dorian Williams, the talented linebacker. And Tulane undefeated this year when forcing a turnover. They are 7-0. First turnover by E. Second down and seven, under 10 to go in the third. They'll fake it to Spears. Pratt's been crafty on the move, pass caught. And that is a chain mover all the way down inside the 15. Well, Shea Wyatt. Game, so. Oh, who knows? That's why we lace him up there. Pratt under center. Handoff Spears to the edge for the touchdown. What a quick burst Tajay Spears has. He shows it inside to get everybody to just freeze just a second. And the points coming off the turnover. Dorian Williams with the interception. And Tulane is... Well, Trey Tucker, Tyler Scott have yet to really become involved in this passing attack. That's been an issue for Evan Prater in start number one across the middle. Pass will be hauled in right at the sticks, and they'll give him the first down. Leonard Taylor, the tight end. They get tackled immediately. It's the first down. So on third down and nine, Bearcats pick up ten. That was enormous. Prater off the left side and rumbles across the 40. And Prater. Andre, we have not really seen any big shots converted on today in the passing game. Prater, a nifty pump fake. Wow. And that's a first down. Foot injury appears to be done for the rest of this season. Second down. Toss sweep Montgomery. Plenty of real estate and a hurdle and a first down. You talk about the production for the linebackers. Williams had the interception. Prater takes off. Sidesteps one defender. And it'll be stopped just short and by Patrick Jenkins. Yeah, and there it is. And it's, so it puts conversion, conversion rate. On fourth down and one, inside give, the spin, and the finish, and that would be enough. That'll be this third quarter. Wiley in motion, Montgomery the running back. 22, off and running, with a move, and a touchdown! Otherwise, uh, with that pass completion, it kept things going for Cincinnati. Those extra point is good. And our new score, we see Mac Brown now leading the Tar Heels, who have already clinched the uh, the Coastal Division. Done a heck of a job in his return. First play of our fourth quarter, Tajay Spears. Tulane leads by three. No dart ahead, close to first down. 60% of Tulane's total offense today. He goes in motion. He's been a weapon as well. And the Jets sweep the handoff. What a pick block. Up the first down. Boy, I love the unselfishness of. Second down and seven. Spears again. They keep feeding number 22, and he keeps responding. It'll be third down and two yards coming. It is, he's always gaining positive yards. Greenway bringing an extra offensive lineman. Direct snap to Spears, and I don't think so. Tackled at the line. Pratt keeps it. Late marker comes in. And let's see where they mark Pratt this may and his a forward progress. Hand to the face. Officials timeout for an injury. If the, the runner is short on the line of the game, we have a personal foul. I'm just going to walk this hand to the face offense, number 76. Prince Pine. Fourth down stop moments ago. McClellan, the running back. Prater wants to take off again. Needed to get to the 47. It'll be Stoudemire back on the field for Cincinnati at the running back position. He'll get the handoff. Eludes one tackler. And has the first down. All the way ahead to the 49. A big play against the stingy two-lane defense. Prater. Off the pump bait. Prater. Out of bounds and incomplete. Yeah. Will Pauling, the intended receiver, he had all day to yeah. throw. And I'm not sure that you can see it. 
I would have to see that. Will not be charged. They time out. Right. Well, when motions out, that's exactly what they'll do. Prater weaving his way through traffic, dives out of bounds near the 20, and it'll be spotted. The ESPN app replay confirmed the third down play, and now fourth and short for the Bearcats. Prater straight ahead. Didn't need much. If he crossed the 19, that should be enough. Bearcats have not led in this game. On second down, Montgomery with a burst. Montgomery with a touchdown! What a move. And he put on Larry Brooks. Well, he has had two outstanding 95 yards and most importantly two touchdowns Bearcats lead it for the first time the extra point is good Andre Ware Paul Carcaterra and Roy Philpott along for the ride Pratt play action flings it in the flats keys has it makes one man miss make it two as he races out of bounds hey Andre I know you want one had an injured hamstring cart back in spring ball that limited his time then. Picks up the first down here on his 30th carry of the ball game, Andre. Here's because you knew, you know he's going to be a big part on this drive, but they've got to show other players can make plays as well. They'll fake it to Spears. Pratt across the middle. Has a man in a first down. Shea Wyatt racing into Cincinnati. One catch and Tulane is on the move. It's a gain of 33 yards. Pratt now over 100 yards passing to the end zone. Pass is caught. And the green waiver back in front. It's Deuce Watts. My goodness. Under 100 yards when this drive started. And then all of a sudden, down the field for a touchdown. Seventh touchdown reception of the season. Hot hand. Not to be red hot on third and 11. Let's see. Wiley switches sides. Prater on the move. Incomplete and poked away at the last minute by D.J. Douglas. Well, it's just picked up two. Second down and eight. Pratt has been in the shotgun most of the afternoon. Spears. Oh That's goodness. a first down and a lot more. Boy, the change of direction. He kept cutting inside. And the end result is receiver with Spears. Can set Spears? to receive the snap. Can he throw? He won't do it here. To the edge, and a couple of yards, that's it. Game tackled at the 41. Bearcats will utilize in this fourth quarter for Evan Prater so far. You know, we're everywhere. Dickinson Gator, all over the place. <laughs> On the field and in the broadcast booth. Prater's going to be sacked. Back at the 15. Guess who? Big Keith Cooper again. He and Derek. So a loss of five makes it third and 15. Bearcats got to go. Prater pressured again. He escapes. He's one deep. And incomplete. Wiley was the intended receiver. 12 to 13 yards and don't move. Fourth down and 15. It all comes down to this. Prater with time. Heaves a pass that is incomplete. It was dropped. Tyler Scott. Right in his bread basket. Right in the chest. We're back. An experienced quarterback and one heck of a running back in Tajay Spears. Tulane on the road, gets it done. 27 to 24, the final score from Cincinnati, Ohio. And one step closer to a New Year's Six Bowl appearance in the Cotton Bowl. Green Wave going back to the Crescent City, feeling good about life and hosting next week's AAC Championship tilt.